Welcome to another video in the shortcut video editing series. I'm Joe, your tech handyman. In this video, I will show you how to create stunning wipe transitions using the vid shortcut video editor. If this is your first time watching, please subscribe, like, and comment. If you're ready, let's dive right in. So guys, open your shortcut editor this way and then the first thing you want to do is to go to where your clips are for editing, select it and bring it onto your playlist. This is actually the very first clip and then this is the second one and then um, this is actually the third one. So we're working with three clips um, in this uh, particular video right now. So what you want to do at this point is to bring all of the clips to the timeline and then there's this particular order I want it to be. I want this very clip to be the very first. So I'll just click the plus button when I have it, once I have it on the preview uh, pane. And then this is the second clip. So you do the same thing. Um, click on the plus button when you have it in the preview screen. And then uh, the last video that we are going to be working with is this particular one so have it on the preview uh, screen and then click the plus button so right now we have all the three clips on our timeline and ready to roll so um, I will move the cursor somewhere where I want to create this particular wipe transition and then I will position it exactly where I want it to be so I can have enough space I'm leaving it this big so you can see so once I drag it over to create this overlap, that is actually by default a transition. So you click on it and then click on property from the drop down. So the default uh, transition is actually uh, dissolved. So I will select bar horizontal. Now with the bar horizontal, the wipe comes from the left to the right, wiping it out just like so. So you can see how it is being played um, um, on the video on the preview screen. So it wipes from left to right just like so but now I will try to uh, make you see how the wipe is so if I move this cursor to the middle of the transition you can see this place is blurry it's not sharp so I want that to be sharp so click on it go back to properties and then reduce the softness to zero maybe if you leave it at zero the entire edge of the wipe will be very very sharp and that's exactly how I want you, you can see that in that little preview screen but I'm going to played in the main preview screen so that you can understand what I'm talking about so right there right there you can see how hard the edges are and very straight wiping from the left to the right that is for the first one now um, I just want to uh, change the color or the tone the color tone of the first one so go to filters and type saturation and then I'll reduce it I want it to be in black and white that's exactly how I want to have it so the video the first clip is actually in black and white so when it's transitioning you can use your uh, the the mental the your eyes to see how it works right here now um, so we have that so moving on to the second clip I think I will just um, do something with the color tone as well to see um, to separate um, everything so in this case I will just increase the hue um, just like so to change the color to something like green so you can see on the on the screen right there green that is exactly how I want it to be now for the third clip we you can drag it out so you can create this space that you want to work on so and then drag the playhead to the exact position you want to have it and then drag the third clip overlapping the second one creating this space right here so right click on it from the drop down properties the same thing we did to the first one so just select on uh, this case in this case I want it to wipe from top to bottom so I select bar vertical instead of bar horizontal reduce the softness and the exact same effect will happen but this case it will be coming from top to bottom instead of coming from left to right so I would just want to change the color as well the hue I will increase the hue and the lightness so that um, I don't have a blue sky I rather have this um, this color of the sky and a little bit of um, lightness to keep it that way so guys um, this is exactly um, how it is done now if I play this video from the beginning 
notice that the first one is black um, and white because i actually removed the saturation and when it gets to the point of transition notice how it wipes from the left to the right with a very sharp edge revealing the second video and the third one notice how it drops from the top to bottom revealing the third and the last video so guys um this is how it is done but i'm just gonna trim the video before i render it finally so you can see how it goes now uh, these are some of the techniques we have covered in in some other videos in this series so check it out ensure to watch the entire series so you have a hang of what is going on here so i'm just going to drag the cursor the playhead to where i want select the s keyword and delete to delete it now this is how the video will look so if i render it uh, finally this is exactly how it looks the man running revealing this speeding car you know driving in from the side and then there's a drop down you can see that f16 jet flying away so guys thank you for watching see you in the next video bye for now